Welcome to another edition of Random Road Cuts. Now we've gone international with our random road cuts. We're here right along the Danube River in Austria, in the Wakau, Wakau Valley. Uh, you can see the roadway zipping along. And we rented some bikes on this path. And lo and behold, it went by this lovely little outcrop that I know nothing about. So we're gonna go explore this together see what we can learn and take it from there. Thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey on a vacation with my wife and some friends here in Austria and thought I'd bring the camera along and share what little bits of geology we might encounter along the way. So if you're new to random road cuts, it's all about, oh, vines there. It's all about um, stopping at road cuts and exposures of rocks and usually places I have no geologic knowledge about and then working through the observations together hopefully coming up with some interpretations and maybe coming up with some conclusions at the end of that so let's just start here with this road cut um or i guess it's i don't know if it's really actually a road cut or maybe it's somewhat natural with the river valley here uh, but some tan looking rocks there is some crude layering so you can see some layering running through the rock this way there's a little recessed area up here a little bit of an overhang back over this way um, and a lot of vines here this area is known for its vineyards uh, apricot orchards but let's just head on over and see what we can see here so this is a nice exposure here of the rock and right away let me find a good spot, maybe right in here. Hopefully you can see as clear, pretty clearly, it's crystalline. So we're looking at rocks that have actual, they're composed of crystals as opposed to grains of sediment or organic material. So knowing that we have crystalline material puts us in either the igneous or the metamorphic realm of rocks. Um, we can also see here, again, there's some crude layering. You can see that there's some stripes and patterns running through the rock. It's weathered with this brown coating here, but this is a pretty nice fresh surface here that shows us we have these alternating light and dark layers in it. Um, what else? So we can see there's light colored crystals, some dark material. If we move down, let's see, kind of into this region here, you might be able to see some of these dark crystals and with the sun shining some of them are quite reflective so these look to me like different types of mica like muscovite or biotite mica um what else can we see here so i think knowing that it's crystalline and sorry there's a rose bush here crystalline and also seeing the layering here this looks like it's a metamorphic rock a foliated metamorphic rock a little bit more portrait zone in here sometimes in these metamorphic rocks you do get uh, sometimes little veins of more uh, igneous type material uh, there's a great exposure here on the ground which may or may not be from this area that shows more of this mica rich type of rock um, Let's keep moving down. Hard to get to some of the exposures with the, the vines here and the thorns. But maybe over here, we can get a little bit closer. Yeah, not awesome exposures here. A little hard to tell what's going on with the, some of the discoloration of the rock here. Let's work our way down a little bit more. This is a pretty nice little zone here that shows some of that same foliation running through the rock this way. And here again, we can see a little bit more mica rich. So this would be a metamorphic rock. If it's dominantly composed of mica crystals that we might call a schist. Back at the first stop with the alternating light and dark bands, that would be what we might call a metamorphic gneiss. See a little bit of that in here as well, in this little exposure. Um, and then let's go up here, a little vineyard here, but there's a little bit more exposure back over here past some of this vegetation. 
So, and I have no idea how old these rocks are. Could these be potentially this region's what we call basement rocks, like the older metamorphic rocks that form the oldest cratonic material, possibly, not sure. So we can see there's these lenses. Here's like a actual sort of lens of some darker metamorphic material. Sometimes when we see these in highly deformed areas, these little tails can get turned into sort of sigmoidal type shapes that might tell us a little bit about the strain that the rock uh, was, exert was exerted on the rock in the direction. So they can sometimes be what we call sense of shear indicators. Not really seeing I mean, there's a little bit of a tail coming that way and then one coming up, but we wanted to probably look at several before we made any big conclusions. A um, little better exposure over here, I'd say overall. Some of the banding in the nice here. Yeah, this is a pretty good exposure. More of the nice banding in this little zone. Uh, seeing some quartz in here. So I think dominantly I'm seeing mostly metamorphic gneiss so far. And then these recessed areas like we have down here are the zones that sometimes are a little bit more mica rich. So they're softer, a little bit more crumbly. Uh, and that looks like that does have a little bit more mica in it. Here's a really good piece here. Hopefully you can see the how reflective that is. Um, and then kind of going up, so there's a, definitely some, the foliation and the layering uh, is sort of gently dipping to the, I guess that's to the west. Um, let's see anything on this underside here. It's a little bit corrugated. I don't know if it's, could be a fault, I suppose, but hard to say. These metamorphic rocks. Let's maybe scoop back a little bit and get more of the full view of the outcrop. So a little bit of the perspective here, right up by this vineyard. Uh, and then they've got this retaining wall and, you know, obviously, most likely, a lot of these rocks that they're using around the vineyard here are locally sourced. And so we can get a couple nice views of some of these rocks, another sort of nice banded rock here. Um, definitely all of these are looking like foliated metamorphic rocks, seeing some schists, some gneisses. Um, actually outcrop over here. And looks like in here we do get some, I can have to see down in here, this, that's hard to see, but a little more quartz rich, like a quartz vein running through the rock right here so fractures in this material that were later filled with fluids and precipitating out whatever minerals they were carrying in solution and quartz is one of the more dominant ones more of the foliated rock so it's looking a lot like um, what i might see in the western u.s as what we call basement rocks, although sometimes there are younger batches of metamorphic rocks. And then, anything else on this end? A little bit more of the material used for the retaining wall, but probably some of these rocks out of these cliffs right here. This vineyard. And then it looks like there's some outcrops further up the hill but quite similar to what we've been looking at here. And then we can see back down to the bike path and this first exposure here. So pretty nice. So yeah, I don't know that uh, I saw like anything super remarkable, but pretty interesting nonetheless to be able to just pull off here off the bike path here in Austria, look at some of the rocks and try to figure out what they are. So here we have these foliated metamorphic rocks. If I'm able to find out anything about this area in particular, including the age, I'll make sure I add that to this video with some of the, I might put some text or something on the video there as well. So, but we're gonna head back down through the vineyard 
and get on the bike and head to the next little town. But we'll be on the lookout for any more road cuts or interesting geologic features. Thanks again for joining me today. Appreciate your support of the channel. Uh, appreciate you making sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy this sort of thing. And we'll see you next time from another road cut or another cool geologic location.